Before this video starts, man, I want to give a huge shout out to Zigzag for sponsoring this video. In every video, we're about to be giving away a Zigzag pack to every artist that we interview. Inside of these packs, you can see it's, bro, it's like a care package. You got ashtrays, you got papers, you got cones, everything you need. Go check out their links. Links will be down in the description. Tell them Marty sent you. And without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so who am I here with? You here with the only Scarlet. The only. The only Glizzy Gobbler. Oh! Back the f up if I slap you in your face. What's up? What you want to do? The only Glizzy Gobbler. Oh, sorry. What's up? You just glitched for a second, like. My AI. AI. <laughs> I just playing, Daddy. Daddy. Shut the f up if I slap you. Oh. To ask me the questions. Why are you gonna slap me for? I don't know. I'm just playing. Come on. Okay. okay. Right. Bitch, what you want to do? You want to get to it or get through it? <laughs> Cause bitch, I take you. Okay. Look at these little youngins. Be a. Sick. All right. So for the people out there that don't really know what you do, can you kind of explain a little bit about stuff and what you do? All right. Back the fuck up. Move the fuck back. Back the fuck up. Move the fuck back. You rap? That's it? I rap, I cap, I laugh, I slap. Yo, listen, I rap and I'm from New York and I'm I'm an entertainer. Wait, so you cap? So that means and this is New York, you was capping? I pop niggas cap. You know? Like if they were in a fitter, you just pop it? I can't snitch on myself. See what you trying to do? This nigga trying to accriminate me. Accriminate me. Accriminate? You trying to accriminate me. And you think I don't know? This nigga trying to incriminate me. No, no. Bitch, I see you through a mile. Bitch, I spot you far away. I know what you trying to do. What you want to do? Let's get to it so we can get through it. <laughs> okay. Am I with Glyphon? God bless me. Oh, that's a wig? I thought I was your real hair. Bitch, shut up. Trying to be cute. I see through you. Like Nicki Minaj? I see right through you. How do you do that shit? Yeah, I'm crying. I have a gift for you on behalf of Zigzag. You know what I'm saying? Sorry for the bag, but. Okay. Is that that Mary Jane? Yes, sir. Is this that Mary yes, Jane? Yes, oh, I'm sorry, Dookie right. Butt. Oh! Is this <laughs> Dookie Butt. Is this that Mary Jane? Uh, yes. This but nigga done hooked me up with a little bit of that. Twin is twin, twin. Ah, you can put it back in here. Just you just pick up and disposable. Here you go. Let's get on to it. Here's your bag. Take I it. I want to hold it. I'm tired of my arms are tired. I hold it for you. I hold it for you. What's wrong with this little nigga? He must be silly or something. I put hands on niggas like you, and that's real. You put hands on it. Yo, nigga. listen. You get to it. All right, all right, all right. So, what made you want to do music and stuff like that? Nigga, I'm just sad in my life. Well, look, I'm just sad in life. So I do music to talk. It's like nobody wants to be my friend. So I got to talk to my music, you know? I express myself in my music, and I make great music. And it, it makes me feel good. That's crazy that you said, like, nobody wants to be your friend. I literally saw a video yesterday of you breaking down in tears because you had nobody to spend time with on Thanksgiving. And I was sad that really broke Bro, I ain't got no family. I ain't got no friends. I don't got nobody in my life. So, of course, I'm crying because it's Thanksgiving. I turn on my social media. I see everybody with their mom, their dad, and their family. And I'm just sitting here alone for Thanksgiving. Of course, I'm going to cry. I'm sad about it. Has, like, you know, like... Do you have, like, any fan that try to reach out to you now? You know what I'm my saying? Fa my family try to reach out to me, but they don't give a fuck about me. They only try to reach out to me because they see me winning. I mean, you don't... So I'm pretty sure now you got somebody to spend time with on Thanksgiving. I mean, I fuck with this one nigga, but he be cheating and shit. This one nigga? Three. You got, you got the tutis out here? Don't worry about my business. Carry on. Speaking of this one nigga, I seen you post something on your story or you re posted something where you was like you had a crush on Jay Doggy. Jay Doggy! I love him. That's love. my crush. He's so cute with his Spanish self and his long hair. I love him. Why you love him? Because he's. Bitch, why you worry? Oh! 
I'm just asking questions. But the, the real question is, do he love me? I don't know. You got to ask him that question. I think he do. Don't worry too much. Jada, if you're watching this, I love you. I'm pretty sure he going to like a nice, fine chocolate woman like yourself. He know. He know what's up. Yeah, he know what's up. He know what can happen. He got to holler at the chocolate drop. He got to holler at that before that is too, it's far gone. Get that while you can get that before you miss that. Oh, damn. You got to get that for Get that while you can get that before you miss that. <laughs> Bars. All right, so your biggest single to date, this is New York, right? Did you expect it to like blow up how it did? No. Everybody on my team was like, yo, this is going to be a hit. Everybody going to fuck with this. Once you drop it, you're going to have all the old school niggas coming back out. You're going to have the whole city on lock. I looked at these niggas. I said, man, I don't know. I dropped that shit. The whole world went crazy. You had the old school people for sure. Snoop Dogg got on the uh, Cali remix. That was crazy. When, when can we see the Busta Rhymes remix? God, Soon. I see y'all was yeah. We working on it. And, and any other remixes we could expect from that? <laughs> Can't tell you that. Speaking of remix, we have yet to get the Glizzy Gobbler remix. What's up with that? What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? I don't know. We in Manhattan. You know the fiends is outside. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with that nigga? Time back the fuck up. <laughs> I'm about to... You gonna move away from that? No, I wanna stay right here. I like this crazy shit. I didn't do a Glizzy Goblin remix because bitches is hoes and they don't wanna admit it. They don't wanna admit that they be Glizzy Goblin chewing on them balls, slurping on them nuts. They don't wanna admit that. They be like, get that head, get that bread. And they just think that they just get. But you was sucking balls. And you know it. And you out there lying with your lying ass. But you was sucking balls. Goggling on that shit. Goggle, goggle, wagu, wagu. What? I'm crying. So, what was going through your mind? I, I'm pretty sure we seen the reaction, bro. You know, when Cardi B reposted your shit. Like, what was going through your mind? I, I'm pretty sure we saw it on video, but like, we don't know exactly what was going through your mind. I feel like I made it out the hood. It's a dream come true. Cardi B from the Bronx, I look up to her. Nigga shitted on her tour, she wasn't gonna be shit, but she proved the whole world, world wrong. So when I seen Cardi could do it, I looked in the mirror, I said, toughen up, nigga, you could do it too. Nah, that's a fact. You, different, you did it. You did it. I love Cardi B. She inspires me. My biggest inspiration. A lot of people say you're not from the Bronx, so they say you're from like Philly, that you came to the Bronx. They say that because I was in the system. I was in foster care. So I was living in PA, Pennsylvania. I was jumping from home to home. That's what happened when you were in the system. You try, like, I was in mo I was in eight different foster homes and about five different group homes. Feel me? Wait, so you were born in the Bronx? Born in the Bronx, Lebanon. Feel me? But, you know, you jump around. So how was it growing up out there in Philly? I wasn't you... in Philly. I was in Pennsylvania. That's oh, the thing. Pennsylvania. What you trying to play me or something, my nigga? No, I'm not. I'm not with that, Troy. I'm not trying to you play always you. always doing that shit, Troy. No, 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 I'm not trying to play you. I'm not trying to play trying you. Trying to say I'm not from the Bronx. Bitch, no, I... I'm about to find you. No, you, you say you was in PA. You grew up out Bitch, there. Bitch, I, I didn't grow up in PA. So how long you was out there for? Bitch, for a minute. I was in the <laughs> system. <laughs> you was there for a minute, so you fake kind of grew up? No, I did not. All right, all right, all right. Bitch, I'm from the Bronx. Okay, how was it living out there? And where? NBA. You lived out there. It was horrible. I was in the system, Trill. A, a family to family, foster home to foster home. It wasn't fun. It was a bunch of misery and sadness. Speaking of misery and sadness, you know, you were 12 years old when you tragically lost your mom. Like, how was that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I lost my mom. My mother died. I lost my world. My mother treated me like the princess or queen. She, anything I asked my mom, she was there. She protected me. She kept me safe. As soon as I left, my, as soon as my mom died, everybody just thought they could take advantage of me because my mom wasn't there to protect me. You know, good people are protect a kid like that's twelve year old like me. But dumb people I was with, my own family, wanted to hurt me instead of help me. Had her boyfriend touching on me, molesting me. Bitch, that shit made me lose a couple screws in my mind. Don't you see? I'm not all the way there. So at 12 years old, when you lost your mom, did you kind of understand what was going on at the moment? No. Not really. I didn't understand. I knew she died, but I couldn't really adjust to it. I blamed myself, you know? 
I blame myself because it was like the last time I saw my mom, she was in the hospital and I was supposed to go see her. But instead, I decided to hang with my friends. And the last time I was supposed to see her, I got a call saying she died. And I blame myself. I was like, if I would have been there, she probably would have stayed alive. I could have kept her stronger. So you kind of had to grow up as an adult quick. At 12 years old, I was 20. You feel me? There was no childhood for me after 12. I also, um, I did some research and I also seen that your aunt and uncle, something like that, kind of was like mistreating you or something like that, abusing you. Yeah. How was that? Like, that's your own family. Like. I don't know. I ask myself that too sometimes. Like, but they was abused. Like I said, like, they was taking advantage of me, let her boyfriend drug me, molest me, and she would sit there and watch it happen. And it wasn't like I could go to be like, auntie, he touching on me. Because she was watching it happen. So it wasn't nobody I could call or go to. And that's why I grew up with a lot of anger in me and resentment. I am so sorry to hear that. It's all good. I, I'm glad, like, you know, you successful and you need, well, you are where you need to be, for real. Like, I'm, I'm proud of you, for real. Thank you. Um, so how did you, like, kind of overcome adversities and, like, insecurities with, you know, the scar? Because, like, a lot of people think, like, you know, the herpes and stuff like that. Like, how'd you yeah. overcome those insecurities? Well, it was a long time. I still, like, go through it today. But I really overcome majority part, like, because people used to call me ugly. They used to be like, ew, what's on her lips? She got herpes. She infected. Boys didn't want to kiss me because of my scar on my lip. And it was like, nigga, if you only knew what I've been through, my nigga, if you, do you think I wanted this? I was attacked. And that's how I got the scar on my lip. I didn't want this. He looked like Jack Harlow. Yo, he that do. He do, right? But, you know, one day I look in the mirror and I'm like, is either you gonna let these people break you, you gonna let them talk about you and you gonna be down about yourself and hate yourself, or you gonna look in that mirror and own it and accept who you are. So I decided, I'm gonna call myself Scarlet. Nobody can say shit. Bitch, you gonna talk about me? I already call myself Scarlet, but I don't. And that's why I'm confident in myself. My name's Scarlet. What? I love the name. Thank you, Terrell. So you have a new song. What's called? It's no like Statements. No Statements. You got a dance going on and all of that. I don't dance. I'm not gonna lie. But what is like, you know, what was the inspiration behind the song? Cause you know, like, this is New York. What I look like telling nigga good morning, right? That real shit. But I'm seeing a lot of talking going on, and I'm like, I'm from New York already. And then I had to be like, yo, I'm from a place where we don't do no riot. Nigga, just tell me what happened. Nigga got caught with him. Mm-hmm. Stuck with him. Mm-hmm. I can't tell you. Mm-hmm. No statements. Just know he got caught with the. Mm-hmm. Well, you know somebody that got caught with the. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No statements. Oh, I fuck with that. It's, it's one of those. No brainer. Nah, that ass. Where the people can find you at? Like Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at scar underscore lip, TikTok at scar underscore lip, Facebook at scar lip, YouTube at scar lip, SoundCloud at scar lip, your baby daddy phone number, your baby daddy, you can find me also in your baby daddy phone at scar lip. I, I don't Bitch think... smell before I rough you up. Oh! Why, which Bitch where, smell. Isn't, isn't that one of your lyrics? Bitch smell. Why you want to no, 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 no. Bitch, I don't want to smile. Bitch, I want to cry. I don't want to smile. I want to cry. Well, cry. Come on. I cry with you. Nah, I nah, don't cry. Don't cry. Because I'm going to cry you a river. I don't want to cry. But I want to ask you a question, though. So, like, you want the tip? Oh. What do you mean, want the tip? Like, do you want the tip? What tip? Money? Nah, like... I mean, like, you know, you you and I both know what I'm talking about. Like That pink shit? Oh! That pink shit. That pink shit down there? You think I want some of that tip? You better get your little pinky ass out of here. Pink ass. Bitch, you get hard and look pink. You don't like, you don't like one? Shut your little ass up. You don't like the pink tips? What tips? Let me talk about it. 
got, I got, I got, a, I got, a, I got a brown tip for you. Right now we talking. Oh. Nah, that ass brown, like you know. Let me see then. Pull it out. I got you. Why are you digging in your bag? I thought it was a tip. It is tips, zigzag tips. Patro, Patro, tro. Before I hide you can. It's brown though. I don't care about it. You don't, tro. You don't like brown tips? I don't fuck with that. So you don't like, like pink tips? Shut up! With that stupid shit, bitch. Like, give me her.